Welcome to this week's prop show. Welcome. Welcome with our favourite guest of all time, Jamie from I Am Soul. Hey! hey! Roll VT. Good start. There you yeah, go. See, yeah, man's yeah. got natural yeah. talent. Lots of new things. Lots so, of new things for the project. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is so, that you're holding, Chris? Well, they should, well, you know boys and girls, but this is pr uh, prop show episode number 30. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 30 yeah. Yard, right. I think it's about 30 or 35. About 30 yard. We forgot. Yeah, yeah, we somewhere, you... somewhere. Okay. Somewhere 30, in there. 30, 40. Okay. Yeah. So, it's all, in this world, it's all about merch. So, you've got... <laughs> You know, you got the Yondel socks. Okay. One dance. One I love what these are. So I didn't bring any merch yeah. today. Okay. One dance. One dance. Thanks, one dance. So we've got all the merch on the back there. But we yeah. decided we would come up with our own merch. <laughs> okay. Prop show beer. I tell you what, there's no other. What, you, you. I mean, Jamie <laughs> put the SDL dog down. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jeff. Get the line. Stay. He wants the beer. He wants the beer. Okay. You can't blame him. Okay, so uh, what kind of merch do you have then? Lots in our office. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, put to so good use. But, yeah. but so we're going to give one of these away. Honorary. So please take one with you. The first ever. Uh, the all first of our guests prop. are going to come on the prop show. Will be the recipients of the prop show beer. There is no shortage. The brewery's nearby. Hey, um, we got so, pastry, didn't we? We got. Oh, oh drop, drop, drop the video in. Do you want to see? Here's a video of us collecting the very first batch. Looking of rather shows. excited with himself. Here it comes. What we're waiting for. Here it comes. The bit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's coming now. Look. We need some like music. Like. <laughs> okay. So here, this this great man here, is bringing round our brand new bespoke beer. Look at that. Look at all of that prop show beer. Wonderful. I like the bit with the forklift. Hello. 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 Get just for that. Anyway, uh, anyway, yes. Come so, on, what are we talking about today? Okay, so um, let's talk about countrywide. Oh, okay. okay, so. Um, you had your ear to the ground of the share price index. Okay, so uh, where's that, that, that working out for you? Yeah. <laughs> How's that working out? Uh, not very well, but. Um, <laughs> 3.7p. Actually, 3.8 actually. 3.8. Oh, so we're rounded off. We're rounded off. We're rounded off. should have invested in Breedog when I did, rather. Uh, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. But anyway, what, what would you do if you were running Countrywide? Oh, it's I mean, got, great it's got organization. A, yeah, I mean, there's so many good facets to it. Oh. Mm. Um, okay. But when you're staring down the barrel, being the sum of the parts being worth more than the whole, right now there's some tough decisions someone's going to have to make. Sell the crown jewels off, get rid of that because I mean they're boring when you're like left, right, what what they? Keep yeah. them. And get rid of the crap, crap, yeah. the yeah. crown jewels. They yeah, but how would you feel if you were not part of the crown jewels? What's you miss? Look for another job. Sad. <laughs> I mean, it's tough out there. Um, I mean, it's not easy, but mm. I think. They have to make some form of decision. They had the back to basic strategy, which on the face of it looks good. Yeah, patience. whether you've got patience, that's the thing. Yeah, mm. you know. But yeah. have they got strong enough leadership? I don't know. It's interesting. Um, uh, Matt Giggs, friend of the show, show. Hi, Matt. Giggs, hey, Matt. <laughs> Giggs out. Giggs out. Um, he he said that uh, he put a video out. It would be a couple of weeks ago now. It was only yesterday, but but obviously in the time of TV, it takes time to to, to get through. And he said it changed in two thousand and eight. You know, in terms of the of the way countrywide changed up to two thousand and eight, they were well. They reacted because of the crash. Or... Well, no, what happened was in two up to two thousand and eight, they really were a, a, a force to be reckoned with. Mm, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, they just hoovered everything up with the Hoover. <laughs> and um, basically, you need a Hoover noise. Yeah, there. but there's an argument. There's an argument for being lean at this particular moment in time. Lean. Like not, I mean, not talking about you. I'm talking about countrywide, but yeah, lean. 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 Not, lean, not being Lee. <laughs> not being Lee, being lean. <laughs> being more Matt Lee. That's <laughs> an Irish accent. There's an argument for being more Lee. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> you, see, well, you know, so we, we, we work with LSL. Obviously, they restructured in February. Yeah. Reduced their footprint um, mm. from as a partner and supplier to them. They, they appear to be coming out of it the other side far fitter. Mm -hmm. ready to rock, ready to tackle the challenges that the market brings. So there is the argument for that. But... I mean, the thing that always struck me about Countrywide is, is that they have a num quite a number of towns where they have multiple branches 
in the same town. Mm. And we are, we have Brian Mansell um, here. Yeah. Brian, Brian, good yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top one. Six months ago, and it was actually my, it was, I suggested. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And I suggested to him, <clears throat> would it not be worthwhile probably just closing a few branches if you've got multiple branches? Mm. You know. But isn't that any, is that any different to? Other franchise groups have got two yeah, only still in the same franchise. town. Yeah, in the yeah. same town. Yeah. Difficult one. Should we move on to the next question? Franchisees so, have more than one in one town. No, but if you no. if you've got. I was going to say right. But if you're so, a holding group and you've got more than one, there are no franchises in countrywide anymore. No. No. Sold them off. First the weeds. Sold them off. Oh. Sold them to hunters. Remember, of course. Mm. There you go. Whoa. He's with the finger on the pulse. Okay, this, should we move on to something else? Yes. Purple bricks. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. So Very see, interesting. So again, at the time of filming, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Bruce brothers had um, gone cash their cash their chips in, kaching like that. Oof. Well, and would they have cashed uh, like in? that? Forty-two million quid. Thanks very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Hello. So All now, right, okay. hello. So now we've got a couple of firms fighting for it. Yeah. Is it worth fighting for? It's got to be. You know, interestingly, um, I've in I've interviewed some people, and um, have you? I didn't know you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally badly, spat on the mic then. Badly interviewed. <laughs> Unaware yeah. that you've made video content. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you don't see any of it because you know, you're know you so work shy that I have to give it to your colleagues to really edit. <laughs> well, you seem to get personal. Yeah. This, 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 this is very personal. Very me. personal. Me. Oh, yeah. It's very personal. <laughs> yeah, Chris, why are you so yeah, personal you're really today? <laughs> It wasn't personal. We still want Where's your band, band stamp? <laughs> band stamp. <laughs> band. Yeah, it's got band. a stamp that says band stamp. Oh, no, shall I go? Oh, sorry. Beep. 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 So, back to Purple Bricks. Back There's, to Purple Bricks. Word on the street is they might be... Well, if, if someone gets up to 30%, yeah. yes. Um, which, looks like, which looks like Springer at yeah. the moment. Axel Springer. He, Axel Springer. Wasn't he the lead singer? <laughs> 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 Spinal Tap. No, Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Axel, Axel Rose. Yeah. 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 So yeah. basically, he's going to take it private. So Guns and Roses. Yeah. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Slash by Spain. Jess, we've got a breaking news. Appetite for oh commission. Oh, my God. Appetite for commission. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a parody <laughs> album. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Sweet commission of mine. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> it's it's just drop the <laughs> two one more. Puns. Puns. We got one more. Yep. Uh, so it's got sweet. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no, sorry. Welcome. Welcome to welcome the to the commissary. <laughs> welcome to the commissary. <laughs> nice. Oh. Anyway, so um, what would that actually do? So you said if they get to 30%, well, like, they'll have the overriding... Yeah, so one of them can. Well, you can right. get the automatic rate. I mean, I'm not a city broker, but I no, think but 30%, you get like the that? option, well, you know, to try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to Grantham every day, do you? <laughs> hey, um, yeah, so once one of them gets over 30%, they get a chance to vote to, and... to, to offer and buy out all the other right. parties. And do you think, because we were speaking about in the green room before we came in, green room. that they're, not in a bad way, but they might sort of... There might be others interested, but then they might hold it there. Well, yeah, Tosca Fund have a big interest. Yeah, they yeah, have got guild, don't they? guild, find a country. I want to say how simple or how someone. They've got an interest in a couple of onliners. Right. So I don't know. See, because out of the onliners, like when we were speaking to Adam Day the other day, he's like, Purple Bricks have made it. Like they are the the online people they view are. that as, and so. Okay, they've only got what seven, eight percent of the market, but only. As I say, only. That's a huge slice. Yeah. It's not money, but it's not their money. So they're sizes. worth maybe buying out, is what we're saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. not that we've got yeah, cash just, to do uh, that. But yeah. Need to pretty deep pockets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've done good in terms of done well. Should I say? Sorry, my mother will hate that. <laughs> um, done well on the basis that they've woken up the industry a little bit. Mm. Yeah, given, yeah. So given given it a shape. choice, which yeah. I think has been pretty interesting. One thing, thing that worries me though is, is that I, the amount of agents that seem to focus on them and not their own problems. There is like this innate fear in the fear. industry. Good tie-in. Mm. Oh, do you know, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a segue. I tell you, they get to 35 shows without segues yeah, like that, kids. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What, um, hold on a second. It's, well, no. it's time for us the prop show. <laughs> Still loving those graphics. Looking a bit dated now, though, don't they? Yeah, they were dated in the 70s. Do you want a new... Do you know what? I'll get a new prop show graphic. Do you want a new prop show graphic? 
Watch next week. There'll be a new prop show graphic. That's a right? good idea. Let me write it down, otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> take, uh, that down. take it down, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, we're right out of fear. So yeah, they are. Everyone's scared. It's, it's, Do you think like, that's the state agents or the world? It's the world. <laughs> the world. I don't think we've got the time for that. Let's focus on oh, yeah, uh, one, one industry at a time. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, Let's do that. And what is the fear that they're just running around their local? I don't know. It's kind of tribal. Like, yeah, that yeah. Protectionism of um, who's the new kid? And yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, you know, it's. I, I think there's an, We need to be a bit more open and yeah, accept things a little bit and a little bit less. Well, like um, you said, accept it as competition and develop yourself. Make it, it makes you better. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, should so, do. Well, the things there's so many things that they've done. So you know, creating and driving the idea that you can book your own appointment online, you can mm. get feedback online. All of these things will yeah. support traditional estate agency if you embrace it. Of course, because there's no there's no one way that will serve everyone. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no it's choice. Yeah, um, fine. Which is interesting. Well, purple bricks aside, who are you, Jamie? <laughs> Who are you? Who, what do you, who are you? What, what do you, you work for a company called I'm Sold? Yeah. So, so what, who, who are I'm Sold? What, what do they do? So my partner and I set it up in 2009. Um, we provide outsourced auction services for estate agents. What does that mean? So effectively at the moment now we deal with about 750, maybe 800 brands. Right. We enable them to have an auction solution and an auction service that they offer their, uh, their consumer. Okay. Are you white label then? White label. Right. So we do it in their brand. Yeah, um, yeah. We work behind the scenes. So from initial launch, we train their staff, we coach them, we help them understand how to spot opportunities where auction might be beneficial, yeah, yeah. but then help them build process. We give them our technology, our marketing, our support, and then we build a partnership. So it's the most successful relationships we have are where we see our clients as partners and we work with them yeah, to okay. help them develop fundamentally a new solution that helps them win business, retain business, mm. and it gives their clients more choice. You know, so what, choice for me is one of the big things that I'm, I, I think the industry needs to give the consumer. Where do you start with this TPO thing that came out? Two or three weeks ago. Hashtag fake news. Okay. <laughs> fake oh. news. Donald Trump style. <laughs> yeah. Fake news. So the TPO are giving some guidance out that says every seller should be told the disadvantages and advantages of the method of sale that the agent wants to recommend. But there's a couple of the trade presses put it out there that it was a, it was a, it was an attack against auction or the modern method of auction specifically. So that's why I say fake news. It is a bit. It's a bit you know it's sensationalist. Yeah. But um. But it is misleading, you know, there's a quote in the article in one of the well-known, well-read um, trade presses where they actually spoke to the TPO and they said, yeah, it doesn't actually make mention to auction. What we're saying is every seller should be told the advantages and disadvantages of the method of sale that they want to recommend. Mm. So it's wide reaching, you know, you're talking about everyone, every method of sale. So traditional mm. auction, you know, looking at lettings, probably managed, yeah. tenant fine, then yeah. in, in private treaty, traditional auction, modern method, right, for sale by yeah. tender. All of them have positives mm. and negatives, but it depends, I think, on the circumstance of and the client. The consumer, like yeah. you said, yeah. 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 So what, I mean, to my mind, auction, quick sale, cash, maybe a reduced value. Is that how it runs nowadays, or is there more advantages to that, obviously? Speed and security are number one priority right. for auction. Sometimes you'll, you'll get instruction and it will fly and it will do considerably more than what you thought it would do on, 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 the, on the price, but right. ultimately, but that comes down to the property. If there's two people fighting for it, of course, they're going to drive up. the price up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get the perfect storm of really, really high price, speed and security for the client. Right. Okay. Um, sometimes you get the speed and security and you don't necessarily get that massive spike in price, but I think it comes down to what the vendor wants, so keep coming, mm. choice, choice, why choice. Think, why do you think there's such a bad name for the word auction? Because it's just the cheap and shit houses, isn't it? <laughs> you mean? Or, 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 or four bedroom detached cottages in the in the middle of the Vale of York with, with, a, with 10 acres, because they come around once in a week. So both of those schools of thought are correct, but it's the wrong thought process that you're bringing, so you're talking about the bricks and mortar. There's a house that's crap, it's caught you, but if I ask you to draw a house that should be sold at auction, you're going to draw me something that's probably... Shit tip. Yeah. Mm. Technical term. Technical term. <laughs> the, the, the I'm, challenge, I'm, I'm listening. So the, <laughs> the challenge that we have Sassy. as a supplier and a partner to the industry and as an industry as, as a whole is to look at it about the circumstance of the client and not the property. Does a client need to sell quickly? Yeah, yeah great, because if they do, you can sell it via private treaty, but yeah. actually, in terms of the TPO advantages and disadvantages, it might take 100 days to find a mm -hmm. buyer, 
And when I do find a buyer, it might take 18 weeks to complete. Right. However, there's a 30% chance it's going to fall through. Now, that's, yes. that's yeah, the yeah. full, but you might get the best price. So you're giving you know, them you're the giving option. You're giving them the then. options, yeah, yeah. but you know, we complete in less than 50 days on average. And if you have a seller who's got a life circumstance, so let's say they're bad circumstances, death, death, divorce. Yeah. These, we, these are the things that you attribute towards auction. But you know, life circumstances could be good. People get together, they have kids, they need to sell a house mm -hmm. for, you know, they, they have a baby. And they, they both have no property and move in yeah, together. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They want to shift one or you've got a client who suddenly has twins and they're like, we need to sell and go and be in this house by this day. Yeah, yeah. Auction gives you a bit more than what private trading and does. It's not, and it's not just a question of like selling for the lowest, <laughs> for the lowest price. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, every, you every property has a reserve. reserve. Yes. Every property. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll probably do a couple of months with no reserve. Um, on really interesting lots. Yes. Um, interesting. As in, need a full refurb. Yes. Full yeah. refurb. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. they're structurally unsigned. Perhaps you can't get a mortgage. Yes. And if you go with the store and a bit of a pound, you get a lot of interest. You do. I mean, it's never going to sell for a quid. It's going to sell for what it's worth, which ultimately is the, yeah, is the ethos behind auction. Yes. yes, yes. Oh, but you can put them in just to generate that interest at a quid. Yeah. Lincoln. We saw one in Lincoln. I did, yeah. Starting a bit of a quid and it sold for 77k. Did that turn out to be a bargain for them? It or? actually turned out to be probably more than what you could have bought one on the street for. Really, yeah. Because people just get that competitive, oh, oh, I'm having it, yeah, I'm yeah, having, I'm having it. it. Uh, you know, it's... I, I, I've got a big issue with the likes of, of your industry. Um, Thanks very much. <laughs> Glad I came. Uh, <laughs> three trains to get here today. <laughs> okay. Can I I'm, not not sure. Sure. I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> it is... And you know, there are, let's be honest, the other auction firms are available. Who didn't switch the bloody phone off? Not me. Mine's not off. me. Was it you? No, definitely you, Mr. Walkin. Okay. All right, no, it must be through there then. <laughs> okay, it's a time where I strangle the other auction door. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Chap. Other auction firms are available. Correct. Hi, hello, guys at STL. We, we like you. We got the dogs and everything. Wow. Dogs. Okay. They brought merch. Okay, yeah, they brought merch. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag just saying. But I got beer. <laughs> hey! Anyway, right, to the point. The best merch bit. I, why are, let's be frank, the, the biggest access to your industry or or, or 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 more people to use auctions are the valuers. Yeah. And, and why, is that the, I hate to use the word fault because that word is not used in this building. Cause. No. Cause. What is the cause that valuers haven't bought into it? It's education and confidence. So if you're an estate agent and you are a valuer, you can go to an appointment and once you're, under the skin of your product and your business. You can do it standing on your head. I mean, mm. it, you kind of, a little bit of autopilot, and at the moment, you're getting pressure from your boss to deliver instructions month in, month out, month in, month out. You're gonna to stick to your knitting. Of course you are, yeah. You know, because you don't want to risk losing no, instructions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, it's 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 full circle. The agent has a business, the branch manager, the next book in Naval, the value, it's confidence across the piece to listen and understand what the client's saying, you know. When you go to an appointment, it says UPVC double glazing, gas central heat, and recently refurbished. I'll see that when I get there. Yeah, of course. I kind of want to know why are they selling? What is the reason? Yes. You know, do they need to sell by a certain point? What does three, four, six months on the market of mortgage payments mean to them? Yeah. yeah. Understanding the driver so that then when they go to the appointment, they can say, We've got a host of options. Tell me a little bit more about your circumstance, and I'll suggest potential a variance of routes to and you, that, which, like, which ticks the advantage disadvantage box. Yeah, but it gives the seller choice. And just I'm just uh, popped into my mind there. So you're not like when you get the T's and C's on the phone to EE or Vodafone, whoever, and the some mobile phones are available. Oh, the mobile phones are available. <laughs> but they they t they tend not to give you like this is not legal advice. This is not financial advice. So. Are you allowed to suggest to them, or do you just offer them all the options? You say, I'm not actually allowed to steer you in well, one. What, what might be an advantage to me might be a disadvantage to you, depending on yeah, the circumstances. Yeah. So, so, you know, that's a lot of it. <clears throat> the TPO have suggested this guidance, but they haven't said what the guidance is. So you need to tell people advantages and disadvantages. And then let them... For auction, it's, it's, it's quite simple. In a traditional auction route, you can alienate cash buyers, which mean uh, mortgage buyers, which means you're potentially looking at cash yeah, buyers. Yeah. Therefore, you can limit your market. Mm. In the modern method of auction, if they choose to charge the buyer, the buyer has to pay a fee. They might take that in, into consideration, and they may well reduce their bid accordingly. Right, On a right. private treaty basis, it could take forever. Yeah, you know, it's understandable, and it, does, it's, and, yeah, and it can yeah, do. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it, 
You know, it's understanding, again, choice. What is the situation with the better? Okay, well, there you go. I, I, cool. think, I think that's about I mean, it. Yeah, well, I could call uh, it for a while. So that's, that's, <laughs> while. that's yeah. uh, it. So it's just we'll time just to go through the list, you know, being pro life. Just, just go through We're, we're just going to check in with our man from Edgware. Steve says! Are you the digital mayor? Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Cheers, Steve. Uh, so that's handy. We got it. Uh, yeah. It's pretty shit for the project. Money well, Penny Boss? It's What's that? It's a privilege. Gets A, B, A, C, B, E. And, and next week... Oh, well, yeah. Some, no. some, what's the Money Penny Boss? Oh, she got a CBE. Oh, yeah, Boss the Money Penny. Amazing. Oh, I've got a CBE. So she got a CBE. Yeah. Oh, really? So we've been up there. Well done. We've been up there. We were invited by the lovely uh, Joe yeah, and Sam. Have we started again? Uh, no. <laughs> we're still going. We're still, we're still oh, okay. So I thought we were all reading that looking very unprofessional while everyone else No, that, we've taken the piss, actually, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come back. Oh, oh, so yeah. This is what it must be like in the big time. Yeah, that's what it's like in the big time. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, money, money Penny, yes, so amazing. Uh, yes. Yeah. Amazing. Can we have a Congratulations. round of applause? Awesome uh, but offices yeah, as well. But their office is amazing. And they have it's a, a pub. Bit, a they, don't, bit, yeah. they don't sell the prop show beer there. But do you know what the you could do. what it was awarded like for? Theory. Services to um, telephones. <laughs> <laughs> they could, no. They could sell the prop uh, show beer in the Money Penny Bar. So they support people getting into work who come from disadvantage and ah, okay. I think it's I think it's disadvantaged and you know, people who've had a crap role yeah, in the space yeah, and they get a bit of a fantastic company, yeah. mate. Fantastic Good company. Work. Yeah. Well, I've done it all. Yeah, yeah, too right. Yeah. Great, so that's everything. So Lovely. there's nothing left for us to say other than uh, thanks very much. It's been great to meet you. Thanks. Nice. Yes. Uh, welcome, you know, welcome to welcome you to our studios in Bradford. Thank you. If you want to come on the prop show, uh, let this guy know. You'll also be the proud recipient of a prop show beer. Maybe we should have some prop show prosecco. For and for a bonus point, who's this? Please comment below. Oh yeah, if you can name this person found at Car Boot, those of a certain age will definitely remember them. Uh, then, uh, then yeah, there's a there's a prop show beer with your name on it. So yeah, uh, so thanks, William. Thanks, William. And uh, the only thing left for us to say is shut up.